In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change your WooCommerce bank account. Whether you're updating details due to a bank switch or simply entering your bank information for the first time, this tutorial will guide you through each step in approximately five minutes. So let's dive right in. The journey begins on the WordPress dashboard. This is essentially your control center. Once you're logged into your WordPress site, you'll find yourself on this dashboard. It's from here that we will navigate to the WooCommerce section. If you're not sure how to get there, simply look for the WooCommerce icon on the left-hand side of your dashboard. It's usually located midway down the menu and it's hard to miss with its distinct icon. After clicking on WooCommerce, we need to access the more precise controls that allow us to handle payments. So the next step is to click on the settings option. Here is where WooCommerce accumulates all the configurations that define how your store operates, including shipping, taxes, and crucially for us today, payments. Once in the settings menu, direct your attention to the top of the screen where you'll see a series of tabs. We're interested in the payments tab. This area is what controls how money moves between your customers and your store. Clicking on this tab will reveal all the payment methods you have active or available to activate. Scrolling through your options, you'll want to locate direct bank transfer. This might also be abbreviated to BX. It's a popular method because it allows your customers to pay directly into your bank account without any intermediaries. Click on it to proceed to the next step. Inside the direct bank transfer settings, you're presented with multiple fields and options that control how this payment method operates. But for our purpose, look for a button or link that says plus add account. This is usually located towards the bottom of the screen. This is the option that lets us input new bank details or update existing ones. Upon clicking plus add account, you'll see fields where you can enter your bank information. This will typically include the account name, bank name, sort code, account number, and sometimes BICS SWIFT codes for international transactions. Fill these in with your current accurate bank details. While this might seem straightforward, it's important to double check your entries. A simple typo could mean payments are delayed or sent to the wrong account, which is a headache no one wants. Remember to save your changes once you've entered all the necessary information. There is usually a save changes button at the bottom of the page. It's important to note that any changes you make here will affect how future payments are processed. So be sure this information accurately reflects the account you want to use for transactions. And that's essentially it. You've now successfully changed your WooCommerce bank account details. This process ensures that all new transactions will be directed to the correct bank account, keeping your business's cash flow smooth and uninterrupted. A couple of additional tips to keep in mind. First, always keep your banking information secure. Only share details with trusted personnel. Second, if you're changing bank accounts, make sure to close the loop with your old account. You might need to manually transfer any outstanding balances if they're lingering in the previous account you had linked. Remember, updating your bank details is a crucial step in managing the financial health of your online business. It ensures that your customers' payments reach you safely and timely, uh, which in turn contributes to the overall trust and reliability of your store. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Changing your WooCommerce bank account details might seem like a small task, but it's an important one. By following these steps, you can ensure that your store operates smoothly and continues to grow. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out or leave a comment below. Stay tuned for more helpful tutorials.